everyone welcome back to my channel and welcome to a brand new vlog sorry it's a little bit dim and a bit noisy it's around that time in the afternoon like five o'clock the sun's setting the birds are going hectic and there's a lot of afternoon traffic so basically just not the ideal time to vlog is what I've pretty much just explained <laughs> but um I want to start the vlog now because it is Thursday the 2nd of May and I don't remember telling you guys or if I told you guys when my car was going in to get fixed but if, in case I did already tell you in case I didn't I went and picked it up today because it was getting fixed over the previous Tuesday Wednesday and Thursday like the last three days um, so I went and picked it up just then I literally most embarrassing story time ever so they called me about midday to say it was ready and I was like absolutely fantastic love that and I knew I still had to pay for the service and the safety certificate upon pickup um, and Thursday is also my payday, so why am I not in focus? So I thought that was really good timing, and what I would do is just pick it up after I'd got my pay in my bank account, so I knew I had that buffer, because I really, I've never had my car service before, so I didn't know what to expect. Oh, Gareth is calling me. Why does this always happen? Uh, hello, I'm vlogging. You're on the vlog. Welcome. Excuse me for that interruption. As I was saying, can't quite remember. Oh yeah, that's right. So I wanted to wait until I got my pay today before I went and picked up my car because I wasn't sure how much the service would be. Never had a service before. Um, you know, just to give myself that buffer because basically all my money in the previous pays has been going towards like putting away for the excess, like for my insurance excess. So basically living on the bare minimum right now. Like I'm not going to lie to you guys, have no savings. It's all gone to my car. So anyway call was around midday hadn't got paid yet and I was like okay I'll just leave it and as late as possible and see if I can get paid before I have to go and pick it up I knew they shot at five so it got to about 3 30 and I honestly just let myself go and drifted off to sleep it must have been later than that I don't think I can sleep for an hour and a half somewhere around three or four o'clock and I was on my laptop and I just started drifting off and I was like you know what I can have a nap I don't have anything else to do had nap, woke up at 4.50, which, why is it focusing on my water bottle? Stop doing that. Ah. Anyway, woke up at 4.50. They shot at 5 p.m. And I was like, oh my God. And I was like, mum, where are you? Please come and take me to the car place. I have 10 minutes. Oh my God, help, SOS. And she obviously was not too impressed. Um, but luckily, moral of the story, I had been paid about half an hour before that. So if I was awake, I still would have only got there. Focus. I still would have only got there like half an hour before they shut. Instead, I got there like four minutes before they shut. But anyway, I have my car now. I also have zero money again because I... <laughs> I had to pay for the service. If anyone's curious, the service and the safety certificate were $330. If anyone's curious, have the same type of car as me, want to know, just curious, just nosy, I don't know. Fun fact for you, it was $330. <laughs> so, um, yeah, it's beautiful, it's fixed. I loved her, I missed her. Um, she still doesn't have a name, so it's kind of weird that I'm like saying, like, oh, my baby, she doesn't even have a name, like my car. Hit me up if you have good names that start with A, because it's a Hyundai accent, so I want something that starts with A. Anyway, as I said, 5 o'clock in the evening now, which means Gareth has just finished work, that's what his call was about, and I'm about to leave to go to his house, because Thursday equals date night for Ellie and Gareth. So, um, got my car, really excited, just got to pack my bag, because, because I have my car now, I can go back to PLC tomorrow, which is very exciting, um, and I'll spend the day there, do my workout spend the day doing intern work um and yeah so I'm just gonna pack my bag for that I just realized I don't have any meal prep so I'll just have to pack myself some food I don't know what to get <laughs> oh when you start meal prepping and then you don't meal prep for a week you literally like are lost like I feel lost anyway um I really need to stop talking because this is such a long clip but in other news Gareth also got a new car I feel like there's a lot happening recently in other news, Gareth got a new car yesterday, so that's really exciting, and I'll be able to show you guys that as well. So we're going to go like a little bit of a car shopping um, thing this afternoon. I'm going to get fresh pea plates because my pea plates are really freighted, and a fresh like jelly belly smelly thing because that's also really, really old. Um, and I just thought, perfect timing, have a fresh car, nice and clean. I was going to clean it, but it seems pretty clean. I think they clean it for me. Um, and yeah, just freshen her up and make her feel all nice and new again, because that's what it feels like to me. 
And yeah, Gareth literally got a new car yesterday, a brand new car. Um, not brand new, I shouldn't say that. It's 2016, second hand, but like new for him. Um, so he's going to get a couple of things as well, I'm fairly sure. So we're going to go on like a car shopping adventure. Um, I think that's all I have to say. I need to pack some food and my bag for tomorrow. Also, because I haven't had my car, I missed out on three days of workout. So three PLC days. So tomorrow will be my first day since Monday. So there's a fun fact also for you. And no, I haven't been beating myself up about missing workouts. I've actually just completely forgot about it. It does feel extremely weird, like, not being in the PLC, like, bubble. Like, just watching the stories from the outside world. And, like, me not having done the workout. It feels very weird. I don't really like it. But I'm going back tomorrow, so I'm very excited. Anyway, really long clip, so I've got to go. But I'll see you when I'm at Gareth's. Hey guys, yes. <laughs> um, I'm gonna show them your new car. Okay. You can give them a little tour if you like. Okay, sure. Sounds good. As if we're doing a car tour of your car before my car on my channel. <laughs> oh. But I already, the clip you just saw guys was obviously my car being all fixed and shiny and new, which mm -hmm. is very exciting. And now we're gonna go and look at Gareth's new car. Yeah. And we're gonna go to Super Cheap Auto and Westfield probably just came out at Westfield. Not sure. Yep. Sounds good. Let's roll. Ew, the chocolate in your teeth. <laughs> Ta-da! It's kind of quite hard to see. You have to shine it in portions. Use the phone torch. Okay, so this is the front. This is the middle. <laughs> you gonna tell us about it, Gareth? Um, it has four doors. This is a good start. <laughs> It's pretty big. Um, it's cool. It's cool. Show us the inside. Also, look how high it is. They literally. Oh, we'll compare it to Gareth's height. It's taller than Gareth. What? What type word? Oh, fancy! Oh, you've already ruined it with a coffee mug. Rude. How have I ruined it? <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> It's a, oh, it had the Ford badge. What is it? A Ford? 2016 Ford Ranger Dual Cab XLT. Cool! So cool. right now so I thought I'd test out there's this little spot on the dash obviously that's not good maybe I have to be up like this there's a little spot on the dash here which I thought would be perfect for the camera but as you can see it's sort of you can see the little divot so I have to sit it there basically in the clip just before you would have seen I did a thing I got my pea place and my jelly belly which is sort of a must and obviously not very expensive like ten dollars for both of them but i did a thing i spent money on stuff that i shouldn't have i got these bike shorts from cotton on body for ten dollars i'm really happy about those because i wasn't expecting them to be on sale and i've never owned bike shorts but i just envisioned them with this outfit so with i'm so sorry i thought my camera was about to die but i'm now i'm not sure so i'm just going to quickly talk about this jumper that i got you already saw it tried on um well done first fill up yeah. how exciting anyway um as i was saying hey guys so it has been like three or four days what i think it's been like four days <laughs> since i last vlogged guys that is so rude you and make everyone yawn who's watching this my eyes are the whole room <laughs> anyway <laughs> um so yeah last time i was trying to show you this jumper that i bought <laughs> And it got cut off because my camera died, which I was very sad about. But um, basically, 
what I was trying to say is that I saw it on a girl's Instagram who I've been obsessed with lately and her Instagram is just Neve Fit, like N-I-A-M-H-F-I-T. I don't know if that's a full stop in the middle, can't remember. You'll find it if you're looking. Um, and she just recently bought this jumper and I'd already been eyeing it off and when I saw a photo of her in it, it just looks so cute, so I had to get it. And I envisioned this outfit with the um, bike shorts, which obviously you saw me try on, I'm pretty sure. Um, and I'm obsessed with it. So, yeah, on that Thursday night, did we do anything else? We just went home after. <laughs> no. After cotton on body. And yeah. I the jumper has a stain in it. Oh, I was not going to bring that up. Well, the Anyone that follows me on in Instagram would have seen that it actually, I found a stain on the back of it when I got home, which I was very sad about. Um, but I just washed it and tried to get it out as best I could. I couldn't be bothered to exchange it because I wanted to wear it today. Anyway. Um, yes, yeah, so I slept at Gas on Thursday night and Friday night I worked all day at PLC and then Saturday and Sunday I worked all day at Priceline and now it is Monday which is another public holiday. Anyone that isn't in Queensland is probably going to be like why the heck do they have public holidays every week? But yeah, good. So um, yeah, it's Monday, it's a public holiday, Labor Day and Darius, did I already show you, oh yeah in this vlog I showed you a new car so we're going to mm. take it for driving. And so well, actually, I already took it forward driving it's yesterday. My, well, I didn't say it was the first time. I was just about to explain that. Ah, okay. <laughs> I was just going to say, it's my first time forward driving, but you took it out for the first time yesterday yep. while I was at work. Yep. And you went to where? Glasshouse Mountains. And was that good? It's really good. That's good. And today we're going to Bribie Island, which is like beach forward driving, because Glasshouse Mountains is obviously mountain terrain sort of forward driving. I'm really excited. Are you excited? Uh-huh. Okay. <laughs> Don't do that. So it's like 8 o'clock and we're going to just get all the snacks because the Weber that I got Gareth for his 18th birthday is finally coming to good use because we get to have a barbecue on the beach today. Um, yeah, so last night we packed the Weber and everything in his little toolbox, which I'll show you. Not toolbox, what's it called? Cargo box. Cargo box. Um, we just gotta bring the bread and oh tomato sauce, we can't forget mm. that. Um but yeah, I'll take you guys around with us while we're packing up and ready to go. Nice. <laughs> ready to go. <laughs> Thank you. So we just stopped at the Kabulcha service centre because that's like, would you say that's halfway between Brisbane and Bradby? Yeah, pretty much. Yeah, so we're meeting everyone here and the people are going with is us in Gareth's car and then Chloe and Harry in Harry's car and they're also bringing Amy and Matt, is that right? Yeah, yeah. And then Simo, who is just pulling up in front of us, we're just going into the car park now. I wonder if he'll notice that I'm filming. <laughs> There he it is. Has the ugliest horn ever. <laughs> it's like beep. <laughs> um, Don't tell him I said that. <laughs> it's all the vlog now. Oh, yeah, true. <laughs> um, yeah, so I guess we'll go get something to eat because Harry and Chloe and Matt and Amy aren't here yet. But there's like a cooler bar and a Macca's and all that good stuff at service stations. So, chat to you guys soon. <laughs> Here's Chloe and Amy. I don't know if we'll be able to see you. Oh yeah, there you go. Ah! <laughs> and Harry. <laughs> <laughs> We're just at the little, what would you call this? This is like the entrance sort of thing. Yeah. Yeah. Bribie Island Recreation Area. That's exactly what it's called, isn't it? <laughs> and they're all pumping down their <laughs> Letting the air out, I mean. <laughs> I don't know, I don't understand the lingo. <laughs> 
We're letting the air out of their tongue. Yeah, so that we can go on the beach. And I'm so excited. Also not prepared for the beach. I didn't bring my tongs. Because <laughs> I just didn't, I didn't think about it. I don't I, understand how you forget your tongs. Okay, I told guys it's because I was thinking about the journey, not the destination. And I was like, okay, well, comfy clothes to, to just sit in the car. And I forgot that we were going to the beach. That's right. I have a spare uh, pair of bikini pants. Oh, I don't have a top. Penny. Oh my gosh. <laughs> That's it. I can just put a stick in the back of this truck. <laughs> How do you serve on this? Yeah, it's the same as before on that one. Um, <laughs> 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 oh, man, it's so good. It's so good. Welcome to the vlog. Matt, I'm talking to you. Oh, You're hello. the only one that hasn't been introduced yet. Hello. I think. Hi. <laughs> Yeah, we saw there. Because it's got the shaft and the thing in it. Though. Yeah. Thanks, mate. Oh, my. Is that where you guys stop? Alright. Oh, yeah. oh, thank you. <laughs> Alright, we're going to the beach. Oh, thank you. Uh oh. What was that off? That was off my recovery hit. So, like, if I, if oh. I got bogged and they needed to pull me out, oh. I wouldn't have had it. You'd be stuffed. I'd be stuffed. Thanks, Matt. Appreciate it. <laughs> Yep. Come on. <laughs> Keep 
running joke where they always um, bully each other for their height and are you around this? No, yeah, like he's exactly taller. The same. Oh, Gareth's taller he's but she, taller she always takes, gives him shit for being short. Yeah, because I'm shorter. a girl. So it's fine. Actually, that was fully sexist. <laughs> <laughs> it's okay. <laughs> oh my god, look how big the waves are. Gareth, are you taller than me? Yeah. <laughs> 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 oh my god. Oh, Instagram boyfriend does it better for his car than for me. <laughs> Gets those angles for his car oh and not <laughs> What a tag. <laughs> Are you proud? Yeah, I'm ripping. <laughs> Trusty Weber. Which sauce do you want, mate? Wait, was this the one that went in the fucking sink? No. <laughs> I'm one that cooks freshly loose. Thanks, Gary. Good man. There's no like can of coke to go with it. Oh, there, there actually is. <laughs> Did he bog? Harry's in a bit of trouble. No, he's reversing out now. Oh, seemed to be in a bit of trouble. <laughs> he's actually reversing the whole way out. Here we go. So guys, we just um, are at the, I think it's like the main entrance to the, to Bradby Island tracks, because the first time, like on the way in, we went the back way apparently, where we went to the Bradby park thing that Chloe was talking about. Um, and that took us two hours to get from the Caboolture Maccas to like our setup at the beach, um, because it was like, I think it was like 11 kilometers of four driving, like actual bumpy 11 kilometers or something longer than that. I don't know. It was very long. Um, but that literally took us like, I don't know, five, 10 minutes just then, which was so much better. Um, and now they're just pumping their tires back up so we can get back onto the main road. We might stop at Macca's again because we feel like an ice cream. We might get McFlurries. And then it's 2.30 right now. Um, and because it's another public holiday, it's Labor Day. Um, PLC North Lakes is only, well, most PLC is only having one or two sessions and North Lakes decided theirs will be at 4.30 p.m. And I thought I could make it, but now I'm a little bit not sure. It's only about half an hour, I think, now. No, actually, no, it's not. I think we're still an hour away. An hour from here to, like, get right back to Garrett's house. And then it will take me, like, half an hour from there to North Lake. So I'm still a little bit iffy if I'll be able to make it. If I do, I'll probably show you the workout. If not, um, I still have to go, and I'll probably just go, like, whenever I can get there. 
um, like halfway through the session or whatever because then I'm having a quick meeting with Matt after which is super exciting because I don't know what, to, what it's about. Um, and we also have a touch game this afternoon, like tonight actually, it's at like 8.25. So um, I'll be vlogging that as well and me and Gareth will obviously be back together after that tonight for the game. But um, yeah, we didn't realise we had a touch game because it's public holiday, but we do. So that's exciting and I'll be able to get to vlog that for you, be able to get... I don't know if that was English, but it'll be in the vlog tonight. Guys, I made it to the gym with exactly five minutes to spare and I'm so freaking happy and I'm proud of everyone's time efficiency. Don't know who to thank for getting me here on time. <laughs> I feel like I'm making a speech, but I'm just very grateful because it was stressful. And I thought I wasn't going to make it and there was traffic. And yeah, I have a couple minutes, just got to change my shirt, put my joggers on and I'll be ready to go. Because there's only the one session today, all the trainers will be there. So it'll be Matt, Nat, Sarah, Jess and Grace. So I'll definitely be able to get them to film it, hopefully. So it should also be a really hard workout because it's like an hour long one, I'm pretty sure. We'll see. <laughs> Right? <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys, so I've just sort of thrown some dinner down and got changed into my big baller brand. That's my team name, by the way. I don't know if I've ever, ever mentioned that, but the TRL team shirt. And I'm going to wear the same thing and just change into my footy boots when I get there because I'm driving myself tonight. Um, because I don't have time to like go with Gareth and get to Gareth's house first. Um, and obviously we spent the whole day together already anyway. But, um, sorry, I'm so out of breath. I literally got home, threw down my dinner, got changed. And I need to take my asthma puffer. <laughs> um, but yeah, the meeting with Matt was super exciting. Basically, I get to vlog, like, I get to do the PLC vlogs, like, as well as my own. Like, I obviously always vlog there when I want to for my own vlogs but I get to like make the PLC vlogs which is super exciting um and what else our game actually really sadly our original real oh my neck's so red from getting changed um our team that we're meant to be playing forfeited so we're actually just doing like a mock game with a random team so it's not actually going to count towards anything so if we're all slack and we lose that's why that's my um, defense. <laughs> we're not actually playing for anything because I think we automatically win anyway because we were forfeited against. But yeah, still going to go for a game because I love Monday nights with the touch team. I love them all so much. It's so fun. But yeah, let's go. I need to go right now. Um, Guys, this is the first time I've used oh a new camera at the at TRL. Like, Welcome. Oh, <laughs> 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 oh, <that's my> <laughs> so we haven't even started the game and Jack got himself called a smart ass by the ref so we already are on the bad side of the ref <laughs> lucky we're not playing for anything is all i have to say hey we're playing to win pride <laughs> yeah pride fair enough it's cool. well, how much better quality is this in the dark than like wow. what my phone was it really is We've got see all my imperfections <laughs> oh really yeah he stopped playing at north my team is so much <laughs> It wasn't even in focus. Go again. Oh, okay, we're going. Oh, we're just looking at the off your game time. Oh, yeah. Hey guys, so I'm just about to go to bed now, and I realised I was such a bad vlogger, and I completely forgot to vlog my game of touch, and I feel so bad because I used to be so onto it and make sure like I always had someone like recording, but literally just completely slipped my mind. I'm not even sure if I mentioned to you guys. No, I don't think I would have because basically during the PLC session, like my workout, um, we found out our like opposition forfeited. So we like for a little while there, we weren't going to play like this was all happening while I was working out. And I just like read the chat afterwards. 
Um, so for a little while, people thought we weren't going to play, and then we got given like a mock game where a team like volunteered to play against us, which is really nice. Um, so we automatically won, like on the leaderboard, we automatically won because of the forfeit, but we actually won the mock game that we played as well, which is really cool. And I wish I videoed it, but the opposition was kind of scary and it made me uncomfortable, so I didn't want to. <laughs> um, and I also forgot partly. And then I also stayed back um, for the game like immediately, immediately after ours because it was like another one of Gareth's footy friends that was playing. It was his team and they were short, like two girls. And um, yeah, if I, if I filled in, they like would have, they played obviously. And if I didn't fill in, they wouldn't have been able to play. So I stayed for them. And we also won that game as well by like heaps, which is super cool. And I managed to snag two um, men of the match grilled vouchers, as you can see here. I'm going to cover the barcode so you don't steal my grilled burger. But um, yeah, at TRL they have, they must have an agreement with grilled because their man of the match things, little vouchers that they get the captains to give to their team um, are like a free grilled burger. So I ended up getting one from my team, like as man of the match, because they noticed that I was staying back, and also one from the team that wasn't my team because they were grateful for me playing for them. So definitely worth helping out other people because you get two free cold burgers. <laughs> anyway, I think that's all I had to tell you. Oh, actually, there is something else. I Um, but I'm going to go to bed now, so thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you in my very next vlog, which will be very soon. Bye!